Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. Mm. I have my cool fellow travel mug again. This, I'm telling you guys, this mug is amazing. Um, I've also used it for like shakes where I'd put protein powder in and I do like a hot chocolate one now with vanilla protein powder and cacao powder um, with just some hot water and just shake it up and it's really delicious. So, all right, this morning we're gonna continue our Pixar movie series with one of my favorite Pixar movies. This might be my favorite Pixar movie, um, Inside Out. Oh my gosh, if you have not seen Inside Out, you have got to see it right now. I'm telling you, get on Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. You could get a free seven day trial. I think they're still doing that, or 30 day, whatever it is. And just watch it. If that's all you do, just then cancel your membership after that if you want. But watch Inside Out if you have not watched it. It is amazing. So again, like I talked about last week with the Toy Star movies, it's incredibly creative. Like the, I'm so inspired by Pixar's and Disney's, but Pixar's imagination with how they think outside the box. It's really taught me to really utilize my imagination more. So with Inside Out, you know, it's all about like the emotions. The main characters are like the emotions in this teenage girl's head. Riley's the teenage girl. And her family moves to San Francisco, you know, and so she leaves all her friends at back in, I think they're from like the Midwest or something. I can't remember exactly, but, and she leaves her hockey team there, which she loves playing. And she just is, you know, it's hard when you're a teenager. Um, my sister can totally relate. We moved a lot when I was, when my sister was growing up, we didn't, we moved three times when I was a kid. Um, but my sister moved a lot, so she can totally relate, I'm sure, to this. But it's really, really just creative how they take all her emotions and make them characters in her head. And they have these little balls that are the memories, and they kind of sort them into long-term and short-term memories. And it's interesting, the movie, the concept of it is... You know, Riley's a teenager, like I said, she's, you know, she's going, she's hormonal, going through puberty, all this stuff. So she's having all these emotions and whenever like fear or especially sadness come into play, joy wants to jump in and just like get rid of it, you know, and like push it aside. And I thought, wow, this is like... I can totally relate to this. Um, so I'm in this personal mastery, this like life coaching program through Christine, Christine Hassler. Um, it's an online program, but she also has monthly group coaching calls. So it's really, really neat. Um, it's really a great program. It's really helped me develop a lot of personal growth over the last year. And I love that I could just go right back to it whenever I need it. Um, which is one of the reasons why I designed our Wellness Abundance online program this way because it, you can go back to it. Once you buy it, once, you, once you're in, when you buy the standalone, you're in. And if you sign up for group coaching, as long as your subscription is current, you're in, you're in it. And with one-on-one coaching too, once you go through one-on-one coaching with me, you know, you get access to it throughout the period when we're coaching, but then you get it forever when you do one-on-one coaching with me. So anyways, a little commercial for our products, a few of our coaching products, but anyways, that's one of the reasons why I designed it because you can always go back to it. So just like this personal mastery course I'm I'm in. So anyways, I digress. Um, But I learned a lot about like, she has you go through this exercise really figuring out like do you suppress your emotions or do you release them and if you suppress them she teaches you how to different forms to actually release them and why it's important not to suppress them and so thinking about inside out this morning I thought wow that's like really cool because I feel like 
we need to feel these feelings, especially with what we're going through now. Um, my sister sent me an article a couple weeks ago that this is a grieving process for most people. You know, a lot of people are going through the stages of grief, you know, shock, sadness, I don't know what order, but there's not really, this article also said that there's not a specific order. Sometimes it's sadness and then sometimes it's shock. I kind of go back and forth where some days I'm just like, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe we're on a stay at home order. I can't believe, you know, we're on lockdown. I just, I can't believe I can't walk down to my favorite coffee shop down the street and go hang out for a couple hours. I just, I can't believe I can't run down run to the grocery store for two or three things for chocolate I just it's still and then other days I'm sad you know by everything that's going on you know all the deaths and the hospital workers the frontline people who are just overwhelmed and then other days I'm so incredibly hopeful and I'm so like this is this is just temporary we're gonna get through this this is You know, it's going to be, it could be a lot worse. And it's kind of, it's like a roller coaster of emotions. And my husband has been going through the same thing. You know, we've all been going through the same thing. And whenever he gets a little frustrated, like angry, like he'll, both of us sometimes will just get angry at the situation. And it's so, we're so quick to apologize for it. And it's like, no, don't apologize for that. Like, let it all out. Like, let it out. Let those emotions out. Because it's just a part of life. You know, we're built to feel different emotions, you know. And I really feel like these emotions help us grow, especially the emotion of fear. It's like, oh my God, I'm so afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job. I'm afraid the economy is going to be crap for a long time. I'm afraid my favorite coffee shop's going to close. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I have, we have all like a list of fears a mile long. It feels like, but what does that do? Okay. Okay. I'm scared of this, but, and it kind of teaches us how to kind of just go walk through that fear, like walk through it and get to the other side of, you know, hope and there's light at the end of the tunnel and we will get through this this is just temporary so i encourage you when you're feeling feelings and no feelings i i don't label feelings as positive or negative good or bad feelings to me are just feelings they're all neutral there is a reason why we're feeling them and if you're not feeling sadness and fear and anger at this time you're probably not a human (laughs) and I hate to say that but I don't like to say that but you probably are not a human I'm just saying so I encourage you to really find a way to really let your emotions out what can you do to express your emotions do you want to punch an inanimate object, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, do a quick workout at home, take a break, sit down and meditate. Just, I encourage you to sit down and write down five things that you can do to really release your emotions. So, whew, all right, I think that's enough for today. This is kind of a strong one. Um, Again, if you haven't seen Inside Out, I encourage you, go watch it. Get Disney Plus for the free seven-day trial if you want. It's only $6.99 a month. Do it. I did it. We did it. It's amazing. And, um, yeah. So get out there. Release your emotions. um, And let's all work through this together. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers.